In this video, I'm going to show you how to export data and then properly format your spreadsheet so that way you can upload it to Dymo Connect and print your jewelry labels properly. The reason why I chose to do it this way as opposed to printing directly from the retail barcode labels app in Shopify is because I wanted more flexibility in the way that I format all of my information. In this case, what you're going to do is log into your Shopify admin and then go to products. From here, you'll want to select all the different items or jewelry that you would like to print labels for. Just select whichever ones, press export, and you want to export the ones that you've selected. Make it a plain CSV file and then export. It'll save to your computer. And in my case, I've already done that. So I'm going to show you the next step. Next, I open Google Sheets and I type in the title, jewelry labels, and the date that I've created this. So that way, anyone that I'm working with knows when I created the labels and they can distinguish whether or not they need to be printed. Name this however you like, but this is how I do it. From here, I'm going to import the CSVs that I created from Shopify. I have that on my desktop, so I'm going to import this right here. Once I've done that, I want to replace the spreadsheet. What that is going to do is import everything that I've gotten from Shopify. I don't need everything, so I'm going to show you what to delete and what to keep. So based on the last video that I created, all I need is the title. So I'm going to erase this thing because I don't need that. And I also need the variant that I created, which indicates what specific product it is, and the price and the barcode, and here we go. So I'm gonna erase anything else that I do not need. There's variants for this exact product, and I'm gonna take out various shapes because I don't want various shapes to print on all of my jewelry labels. So I'm just going to fill in the blanks so all of my different variants have the same product name. For the sake of saving time, I am going to erase the rest of these items here because I want to make sure to get through this tutorial quickly. And let's just pretend that these are all the products that you would like to print jewelry tags for. For the variant price, I definitely want to have decimal point and dollar sign. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. I'm going to make title title one, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. And I'm going to make variant price, variant price one, and variant barcode, variant barcode one. If you haven't already, you'll want to add your barcode into Shopify. And where you do that is in your product itself. At variant, you have to select the item and then edit your barcodes. So this is something that you need to make sure that you've done already before you do this barcode printing process. And now what I want to do is see how many records that I have here. Minus the header, I have 48 records in total. And the reason why this is important is because each one of those labels that I'm printing in Dymo has two labels on one sheet. So in order for Dymo to recognize and print your two labels on one sheet, you need to have two labels on the same line inside of your Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do is select all of this, and then I'm going to right click and put insert four columns right. After I've done that, I'm going to take these titles that I created and paste it in there. Then I'm going to call everything title two, option two, price two, and barcode two. The reason why I do this is because I want Dymo to recognize that these are two different labels. After I've done this, I'm going to take half of 48. Let me do 26 onward. So for 26 onward, I've cut everything and I've pasted it into these fields. So as you can see, every single row has two different labels. So this is label one, that's label two. And this is how I'm going to make sure that my jewelry labels are being recognized and printing properly inside of my Dymo Connect. What I'm going to do now is I will save this as a CSV and I've already labeled it the way that I want. So I'm going to just press save and then I'll go to my Dymo Connect. 
once I've gone to Dymo Connect, I can take this same template that I created before and I need to assign the different columns and rows from my spreadsheet I just made and sync them with this particular template. The way I'm going to do that is import data. I'm going to browse and find that particular file in my computer. Then I will select rows that I want. It says use first row as column headers. Definitely want to do that. And then I'm going to select all and import that. Now what's going to happen is it's going to recognize that there's going to be 24 labels total that need to be printed. But before I can print, I need to sync the rows inside of my spreadsheet with this Dymo template. So what you do is you've already formatted this. You're going to press this little purple thing, the little table. I'm going to select the first barcode. You'll notice that it's too long because remember, everything needs to be four characters. That's because I need to erase this data that was already there as my placeholder. Then I'm going to go to the title and I'm going to press this little purple um, icon. Oops, make sure it's still selecting the right thing. They're a little close together. So I'm going to make this one a little smaller. It's going to take a little bit of trial and error in terms of your template here. Okay, so now I'll select my first title. It's going to make it really small. Expand this little box after you have imported it in there. Then go to the variant. So let me make this a little bit smaller. This is my variant. Then I'm going to expand this to make it just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to select the price right there. Remember to erase your placeholder text that you put in your template. And I'm going to erase this $9 here. And now I've got my first label set up. Now you're going to repeat the exact same process for the second group of information. So I'll erase the placeholder text. Then I'm going to press this purple box. And instead of selecting from the first group of text, I'm going to select from the second. The second barcode's right there. Then I'm going to select the title. Again, I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller so that way it'll, or I could just go like that. Okay, so second group of text right there. And then I'll expand it if needed. Then I'm going to select this variant. I guess that's the easier way, just move it to the side. And that's my variant. I'll move it over here and resize as necessary. I'm going to erase what I did previously and select this little box and then select my second price and make it bigger if necessary. So now I've got everything synced properly with my labels. And in order to make sure that this is synced properly with my spreadsheet, you'll notice at the bottom it says one of and however many rows that you have. You're gonna want to click through and make sure that all of these numbers change. So as you can see here, all of this information is changing with the exception of my titles and this first barcode. So now that indicates to me that there's something wrong. So now that I've done that, I can figure out exactly what's going on. The reason why these names aren't changing until later is because there's 12 of each one of these items. So I'm not going to worry about that but this first barcode isn't changing at all. So I'm gonna go back to number one, and then I'm going to take a look at this and I see exactly what happened. For this barcode data, 7,000 is inside of this box. So I need to make sure and remove that. Now I'm going to select this again, and then I'm gonna see if it changes, and now it does. Before you print, you're always going to want to double check that all of your labels in terms of your barcodes, in terms of your product names, variants, and prices are correct. If there's anything wrong, click on the particular section that is incorrect, especially if it's a barcode, and make sure there isn't anything inside of the barcode data already and resync with the particular column that you need to. I know that all of these are going to be correct and I can also compare against my spreadsheet here if I need to double check. Make sure that your label writer is connected to your computer. Make sure your labels are properly inserted into your label writer and then press print and everything will print the way that you would like. And that was a tutorial on how to sync your Shopify spreadsheet data with your Dymo Connect template that you've created. 
and print jewelry labels. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below.